I was supposed to start talking a while ago, but I just wanted to live in the moment of Grammy Award winner, mezzo-soprano, Janae Bridges in Girls of the Golden West. And she is bringing her amazing talent to the Bay Area in a program titled Notes on Hope. It features works by 20th century French composers, Duke Ellington, and traditional spirituals. Janae is joining us to talk more about her performances here in the Bay Area. And Janae, good morning. We're so happy you're with us. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here with you. Thank you for having me. Of course. So you make it look so beautiful and effortless, but I know <laughs> it takes so much work to get to the level where you are. Tell me, how did you become interested in opera and what's your journey been like? Ooh, well, my journey started when I was actually about 17 years old. I was in my high school choir, and my teacher said, you know, you have a natural gift. Maybe you should hone in on it and start studying privately. So I said, what the heck? Okay, I will. I started studying privately. I fell absolutely in love with it, and with very little training, I auditioned for music conservatories, and I ended up going um, to the Manhattan School of Music all the way from Seattle, Washington, where I'm from, and... I really was so green. I didn't know much, but I worked very hard. New York was my playground. And um, yeah, I, I was there for four years. Went to grad school in Philadelphia. And uh, then the rest is kind of history. I mean, it, it, it's, it's an art form. Opera is an art form that encompasses everything. You have the orchestra, you have the live voice, you have dance, you have theater. And so from day one, I just thought I need I don't know what exactly this is all about, but I need to find out. And um, here I am today. Oh, and we love it. And I'm so excited that we're going to get the opportunity to experience your performance, your singing. Talk to me about Notes of Hope. Yes, yeah, so Notes on Hope is a program in collaboration with my dear friend, Ulysses Owens, who is also a Grammy Award winning percussionist. And he is a jazz percussionist. So We've been talking for many years. He went to the Juilliard, um, Juilliard in New York, and we've been talking for so long about cross-genre collaborating. Not often do you have classical mixed with other genres of music, and we thought, why not combine our forces and, and our styles and our languages and, um, you know, access people through this way? So we have a program starting with spirituals and, and songs from the church, which we both grew up in, mm -hmm. um, kind of formed and shaped our music musical language. Um, and then we also have some French song that he has arranged in a jazzy version. Mm -hmm. And then I'm singing a couple of straight classical songs and the band is playing a couple of straight jazz songs. So we really are infusing and combining the genres. And Notes on Hope is really about um, saying that we are not so different from each other mm -hmm. just as classical and jazz is really just all music that in the end we hope to um, move people and move their souls and their hearts we are not so different from each other the one person from another so we're hoping to bring hope <laughs> to the to the audience which we all need a bit of hope in this day i will agree there is something for <laughs> everyone and i think really broadening people's perspectives because you might think oh I don't I'm not into opera but I love jazz and then you get here and you're like I love it all so this exactly. is amazing I really love how you are um, really exploring so many different things you talk about how we could all use some hope right now can you talk about your role in a knee on the neck it's a choral tribute to George Floyd Ooh. yes so a knee on the neck um, I performed this piece about one year ago with the National Philharmonic in, in Maryland. And this piece was composed by Adolphus Hale Stork, who is a living legend. He's, I think, I believe now um, 82. He's an African-American man. And as soon as George Floyd was murdered, the music came to him and he thought, you know, no more, no more hiding behind all of this brutality. And what, what, what better way, excuse me, 
to um, get through to people than music. And so he wrote this incredible masterpiece um, where I am leading as the vocalist and I'm kind of playing different roles. I'm playing the conscious of America. I'm playing um, some police. I'm playing the mother mm. of, of George Floyd. Um, and it's just extremely powerful. And I have to say it was not easy to learn just because the text is so visceral and, 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 and difficult at times, but um, it's a masterpiece and it was received very well by the audience. And I think really most of all, it had people thinking about what they can do individually um, to just be better yeah. and, and to prevent, you know, um, prevent these instances. Janae, we appreciate you lending your voice and your talents to that because we all know how difficult that is, but how necessary. So thank you so much for talking with us this morning. We want to tell people more about your performances because they're going to be awesome. You can see Janae here in San Francisco at the Herbst Theater this Friday at 730. For more information and tickets, go to sfperformances.org. And then on Sunday, she's going to be in Davis at the Mondavi Center at 730 p.m., Tickets there, MondaviArts.org. Thank you so much, Janae. We, I'm going to come you see so you. Much. I'm so excited about it. Oh, so, great. I yes. can't wait. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you.